Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Rudy Merck, and I'm here today to talk to you about astaxanthin and astaxanthin dosing. Now, many of you have seen the Dr. Oz program and the interview with Dr. Mercola, and you've read about the benefits of astaxanthin, and those benefits are very real and important. Reduction in inflammation, helps your skin, helps your eyesight because it helps prevent macular degeneration, it helps uh, mitigate the effects of uh, cataracts, etc. So we know about the benefits, but what is the right dose? I think in the marketplace, there's been too much of an emphasis on more is better when we believe at Valenza that right dosing is the way to go. And in right dosing, we also created formulas which are super absorbable and, and give you levels of astaxanthin that you would get with a much higher dose. Buying more astaxanthin or higher concentrations, 10 milligram, six milligram, is totally unnecessary. And taking two of those a day, 12 milligrams a day times two, or 10 milligrams times two, is completely uh, uncalled for. Valenza believes the right dose for the average person is about two milligrams a day, not 10 milligrams a day. For people that are performance athletes, I would say four milligrams a day, not 12 milligrams a day, not two times 12 milligrams a day. Now, why is that? Well, first of all, there is some bioaccumulation of, of astaxanthin that is well known. A salmon starts off its life off being completely white on the inside. It only turns pink because of the uh, food it eats, the shrimp and things like that it eats, it also eats microalgae that contains astaxanthin. And a white salmon is not going to make it to its spawning ground, whereas the one that's red will, because it improves its endurance, it improves the resistance to oxidative stress, etc. But when a salmon is first born, it has zero uh, astaxanthin in it. After about two years, an average salmon only lives about three years, but after about two years, it already has 24 milligrams of astaxanthin in its flesh, in its body. And humans that take astaxanthin are gonna have some bioaccumulation also, and usually in fatty tissue. Now, what is the right amount? Well, if you start with a very slow, uh, small amount, you will have a good amount after a certain period of time. If you take two milligrams a day, and by the way, that level of astaxanthin reaches a certain level and then stops accumulating. So if you're taking two milligrams a day or four milligrams a day, it might take you two weeks to get up to the proper levels. Whereas if you take 10 milligrams a day, you'll get there in uh, two days and the rest of that you'll be taking is just wasted. And astaxanthin is a precious product and it's very expensive. So why should you be taking too much? The one other piece of science I want to add to this is this. Dr. Mercola, the representatives of Cyanotech, many people have said, it's 500 times more powerful than vitamin E. It's 46 times better than lutein that, at capturing single oxygen. It's, it's three times better uh, free radical scavenger. It's more potent than, than beta carotene, lutein, all these things. If that is really true, and it is, then why would you take the same dose as a normal lutein dose if it's 46 times more powerful? And I think that people looking at science ought to understand the science and then promote the science and not just make up numbers. And, and these high doses of, uh, of astaxanthin that are being uh, touted, they're not dangerous, not unless you get into over 20 milligrams. Uh, which can cause pigmentation when itself is not dangerous. It just looks funny. But uh, why not take the right dose that'll do the thing that you want it to do and uh, not try to uh, hype these large doses just so people can make money? One other note of caution is that if you take more than 20 milligrams a day, there is the possibility that you'll have the same effect that happens with... Uh, uh, beta carotenosis. Beta carotenosis is a condition often found in anorexic uh, females where their palms take or turn orange because they drink carrot juice instead of eating normal food. And uh, even um, 
Steve Jobs, who was a vegetarian and uh, well known to be uh, binging on certain uh, things, had uh, orange palms. And uh, so this is this will happen with astaxanthin. You'll get pigmentation if you're taking more than 20 milligrams a day. And I also recommend not taking more than about 60 milligrams a day of, of any carotenoids because that can lead to pigmentation. Astaxanthin as a mono or diester, which is the natural form that comes out of hematococcus pulvialis, does not get absorbed in the body. It cannot be absorbed in the body because of those ester groups on it. These are big molecules. What has to happen is it has to hydrolyze in your gut. And in your gut, it forms free astaxanthin, the so-called alcohol form or hydroxy form, and that is absorbed. And that's a, a fat-soluble molecule. So if there's fat around, the fat helps carry it into the body. But in order to get the hydrolysis to take place, it has to be exposed to lipase. Lipase is the enzyme that the bacteria or oral flora have that breaks down fat, okay? And also esterase, which is another enzyme that bacteria have. What we did was we took either two or four milligrams of astaxanthin, we, we offered both. We added perilla oil to, to help dissolve the astaxanthin. Then we added a surfactant, a soap, if you will, a natural soap, organic sunflower phospholipids, added that to the package. And when it, that goes into your gut, the phospholipids act like a soap, disperse it, the bacterial flora can break down the, uh, the ester groups, the perilla oil helps carry it into the body. So we have a very bioavailable form, probably two to 3.7 times more bioavailable than anybody else's astaxanthin on the market. We believe that you will get even top triathlon, endurance, ski, uh, endurance skiers, and that sort of thing. Uh, these people will benefit with four milligrams using the Xanthin XP3 formula that Valenza has uh, developed. And we think it's the best product. It's also reasonably priced because we're using less astaxanthin to do more. And remember this, it does bioaccumulate, it does accumulate in the eye, in the brain. There is a benefit to that. However, overdosing yourself with it, taking mass amount is uncalled for and totally unnecessary.